Have you ever been in a Teams meeting where there's a whole lot of participants, but only a few people are talking, only a few of them have their webcam on, and you want to um, make sure that the people who are using their webcam are on your screen up front and center? Well, you can do that now with the ability to pin and fit and fill frame. You can have a little bit more control over who shows up at the, uh, the top of your Teams meeting. Let's take a look at how that's done. Okay, so I've got a meeting down here with three participants. I've got, I'm logged into my admin account. I have my regular account sitting over here with my webcam turned on. And then I've got my guest account who's joined just from a phone and that's the circle with the J on it. Now, what it does by default is you get this split screen if you have just two other participants. If you had more than that, it will show three people or it will show up to four in a tile. After you get four participants in a Teams meeting, they start to show up in that ribbon down along the bottom. Well, if we want a little bit more control over this, we can right click on any of these participants and we can either uh, pin them, unpin them, or we can fit or fill their frame. First, we're gonna talk about fit and fill frame because when I have this split view right here, maybe this is a room and it's too cropped in. Teams is pretty good about being able to crop and follow me. So if I start moving over here to the side and I start coming out of frame, it should automatically move to track my face and move that frame around. Maybe though I wanna show just the entire frame around me and I don't want to, to have this vertical video. If I want to do that, I can right click here and I can hit fit to frame. If I hit fit to frame, I get the full 16 by nine view of what that webcam is bringing into Microsoft Teams. So if you have a Teams room that you're joined to and it's cropped in too much, you can zoom out on the room by clicking fit to frame. Now, if I wanna bring that back in, I click fill frame again, and it will do automatic cropping, automatic tracking of the person's face, stuff like that. Now, I have this split view right here, and I have this little circle J. I don't need that on my screen because they're not showing their webcam. So if I wanna focus on the person who is using their webcam, I can right click on this person as well, and I can hit pin. If I hit pin, it will force everybody else to move down to the ribbon at the bottom, and then this one person I can focus on what they're presenting, I can focus on their mouth moving if I need to be able to read lips or something like that. Um, one thing that you can do here is if you have multiple participants across this ribbon, you can right click on any of those and you can pin up to four of them so you get to decide which four people are on screen. One limitation is that you don't get to decide who is on screen for other people. Teams will just automatically show the most recent uh, speakers on your team's meeting so you don't get to force another person to be on someone else's screen but you can control that for yourself. One thing to be careful of whenever you're pinning and using the fill frame feature is whenever you right click on this person the pin button is precariously located right next to the mute participant button. You want to be very careful that you don't click this mute button and instead you click pin or unpin. Um, Generally, you're gonna be pinning the person who is talking the most. If you were to accidentally mute that person, that would be pretty detrimental to the, uh, the meeting experience and pretty disruptive. So I just wanna point out that you should be very careful whenever you're pinning to make sure you click that middle button, not the mute button. So that's it for uh, having a little bit more control over your meeting experience and who's on screen at what point. I hope this helps out and I hope you have a great week.